Hey guys, Rob Andrew here. I wanted to share a photo. Huh, there's a, some emails coming in. I wanted to share with you a photo I did the other day in Anza Borrego and also share a cool um, hiking spot with you if you haven't seen it before. Um, it is called The Slot. And it's fairly close to the 78 freeway. And um, it's a really cool hiking spot. It's a slot, a slot canyon. There's my kid. It's a slot canyon that uh, you can get into pretty easily. You could drive there without four-wheel drive. Um, there's a parking area up above, and um, really cool hikes. You can get get down in here. It's only about a mile hike through the whole slot part, and then you come out into a clearing, and then you can either go up up and around, or you can come back the way you came. I usually come back the way I came just because I like playing around in here. Um, but um, it's it's cool scenery and it's um, my daughter being weird. It's pretty easy to get to. Um, the photo I took actually is that I want to share with you is up above on the road. This is something I took uh, just to set something up. I hadn't really shot anything that day except for some snapshots of my family. But um, F16, uh, four second exposure, ISO 100. Uh, doesn't look like much uh, now, but it came out really cool. Here's the final image here and I'll walk you through quickly how I got there so the first thing I did is um, I shot this with a graduated ND filter on because I wanted to balance the sky with the ground which it is pretty balanced but um, but not so exciting so here is uh, turning the color temperature way up uh, contrast up a little saturation up a little and just playing with the levels to, to increase the contrast a little more too but mainly here, I've just increased the color temperature a whole bunch, and increased the shadow brightness to get to this to get to this place where it looks a little more happening. And then uh, export a PSD uh, file into Photoshop. So I take it in from there. I take it into Photoshop. This is my final image, um, which came out real nice from this fairly boring flat picture here to the final product here, because the the quality, the quantity of light wasn't that good, but the quality of light was actually pretty cool. You just gotta kind of you'll you'll learn to see with practice. Um, it doesn't look like much here, but it's gonna be something cool. Um, so to get here, I'm gonna turn off all my layers. I got a dodge and burn layer, and this is just to darken these lines. I darken these lines here. I mainly use this for burn, not for dodge. So um, I don't think I brightened anything. I, I mainly just well, I did brighten a little bit in here. But mainly I, I use this to darken the road, and that's to create a sense of a leading line here, to enhance that leading line a little bit. And then um, color balance. So color balance, I can change the color of just certain things, like I can increase the blues in the dark areas and increase the yellows in the bright areas. And I did that with both of these. If you look here, you can see like in the highlights, I've increased the yellow. I've slid it toward yellow, and in the shadows, I've I've slid it toward blue. So in that way, I can I can make this a little more bluish purple and and keep my orange in the middle. And the same thing here. I've kind of done the same thing, but I've gone a little more blue on the bottom. Now I'm gonna reintroduce some sun, uh, make it make it more orange. And this is uh, the the one thing that's completely fake here, but it looks cool, is like just yellow paint. So I just created a blank layer and picked a yellow color that I thought looked like the sun and I just painted some. And this is fun. It creates a little haze. I mean, it does make your picture a little hazier because you're just painting right over your picture. But um, it simulates the sun pretty well, gives you a little more of that warmth in the sky. And it kind of, um, it works because it it looks almost like a flare, like it's um, like it's hazing up the lens. And um, so that is just yellow paint that I've added to brighten the sun and brighten this area here. And then I've got one more uh, layer where I do mostly dodging. And I do this when I when I want to brighten something fairly dramatically. I'll just copy the background layer and brighten the heck out of it, and uh, throw a mask on it, and then I'll mask in where I want to brighten. So. Um, if you haven't taken the, the Photoshop class yet, this would 
be a good reason to. You'll kind of pick up a lot of these things. Layers and layer masks um, are, are a big deal. So um, if you're very confused right now, you might consider taking our uh, Photoshop basics class. But here's what this layer does. So this is probably my most dramatic layer because this is where I'm going to do all my brightening of strategically certain areas to give the picture more depth. So I wanted to brighten here um, to, again, bring the road out, the contrast in the road. I wanted to brighten here just to give me give me a, a little pop in the foreground. And I wanted to brighten out in the distance in a couple spots, selected spots, because I want you to have a three-dimensional depth here. So I want you to kind of go boom, 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 and have a, um, a foreground, middle ground, and background that your eye can kind of travel. So that's why I've created a highlight here, 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 and way out here is just to get your eye engaged with the whole the whole picture front to back. Whereas if we go back, it's pretty flat. The light's there though. Uh, the light's there, the sky's pretty, the, everything's pretty much in focus and all that. Um, but it's just not, um, it's just not exciting until we add some of those highlights. So that makes it a lot more interesting. Starting and ending. Anyway, there you have it. That's the slot. Uh, it does come up on uh, Google Maps. If you put it into your app and you want to go there, um, you can simply put in the slot and it'll take you um, off a little dirt road on the 78 and actually gets me there pretty well. Uh, if you put it into Apple Maps, um, you're going to spend an extra half hour driving dirt roads that lead to nowhere. <laughs> I figured that out on my own. Um, but the Google Maps version does it just right. So if you want to get there, Google Maps, this lot. If you want to make extra sure you're not wasting any time, go to the visitor center um, at Anza Borrego and um, grab the tourist map, and it'll show you where all the turnoffs, all the cool turnoffs are for all the, the sites. Because um, it's a really big spread out park, and it can take you an hour to get from, um, for example, the Fonts Point of the slot all the way to um, something like Coyote Canyon or Pinion on the other side of the park. Um, but um, this is a really cool one to check out. Also check out Fish Creek Wash, which is a slot canyon that you can drive your car through. If you're not inclined to do hiking, you can do it that way. But um, get out there and check it out, especially this year. We're getting some moisture in here, um, which keeps the dust down and makes it really cool. All right, guys, uh, we'll see you soon.